are from a glittering Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. A bit later in the programme, we're going to go to Teesside for something a bit messier, yes. aren't we? Yeah, it could get very messy. This is Redka. Um, and at nine o'clock this morning, live on the programme, we will bring you the demolition of this industrial Teesside landmark. Redka Blast Furnace, one of about 100 blast furnaces built along the River Tees since the late 1800s. It's the last one standing, but not for much longer. Yeah, 80 metres of it, 80 metres high, 365 feet, dominated the skyline, but it's coming down on the dot of nine o'clock, we say confidently. Yes, I like that. A demolition is expected to take between five and ten seconds. And they're using 175 kilograms of explosives at 40 separate locations all around the site. What can possibly go wrong, Sally? <laughs> I'm glad we're here and not live there this Let's morning. Let's wait and see. Could get loud, <laughs> could get messy. But, uh, yeah, we'll bring you that on the dot at nine o'clock. It is. 8.59 exactly. Shall we? Dare we? Yes. Okay. Let's go to Teesside right now, where the Redka Blast Furnace is about to be demolished in the next minute. It stood there for decades. It employed thousands of people, but it's all changed. It's about to go and blow. And Peter Rottick is there waiting to guide us through what happens next. Good morning, Peter. I hope you got your ear defenders in. Good morning. I'm going to stand out of the way. I think we're about to see the shot. There we go, what an amazing sight that was. That's uh, more than four decades worth of British industrial history, which has come to the ground in just five five seconds, essentially. As in, back in the studio, and, 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 and build it up to it. A little bit of trouble on the sound there, but no bother for the demolition experts this uh, morning. No question what happened with that. Yeah. Is there? And it went a little bit earlier than we yeah, expected. Yeah, we were expecting nine o'clock and it was about it's about 30 seconds early. But Peter Ruddick was cool as a cucumber, wasn't totally. he? Totally. Just steps out the side. Yeah. No dramas, but look at that. Uh, the dust still hanging in the air this morning. The end of an era in Redka. All those jobs that have come and gone over the decades. Uh, but also people talking about the future and what can now happen potentially on that site uh, as, uh, as the town tries to, to reinvent itself and its economy.